Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and today I want to talk about topic of armor penetration. How much you want? How much is too much? This is still very popular question I'm getting. How to calculate if I have enough, if I have too much? What can I do? Therefore, I will try to answer it in as simple way as it is possible. I would there will be a math involved, but I will try to do it into like the most simplified way possible. I would not go over too much details. What you can do with just a simple calculator if you want to know your stats better. Now, armor penetration, what we are talking about? It's something like, for example, stabilized perk, 45% armor penetration. Then some of the weapons have this special legendary effect, ignores 50% of your target's armor. Some of the weapons can have a receiver that helps with armor penetration and so on. Different weapons, different perks, but generally you know the idea and no. If you have this 50% armor penetration and perk giving you 45%, this is not 95% of armor penetration. It's not how it works. I will go over details, but no, you cannot have 95%. You cannot go over 100%. It's not how it works. As well, what you need to know whenever you try to figure out how much armor penetration you actually need, the pip boy damage of the weapon does matter. Higher the damage, less actual armor penetration you need. I know it's not very intuitive, but I will explain everything in more details, uh, going over it with basically a PowerPoint. But before we jump in there, if you are interested in how much of the armor enemies have, you can use awareness perk. But one, but what, one small but with this perk. This perk is kind of a little bit buggy. Therefore, the only way to use it right you need to unequip your weapon, unequip all armor penetration perks and then use VATS on enemy and that will show you accurate armor and energy resistance of the enemy. If you don't unequip your armor penetration stuff and weapon, some of those will be reflected in the armor, therefore you will see reduced armor and it will be rounded down, therefore it will be even bigger error. It's not the best way to figure out enemy's armor if you have anything equipped. Then that's just a small disclaimer here if you want to check enemies with awareness. But now let's go for the PowerPoint presentation and I will show you how exactly math works and then how to figure out if you have enough or not enough. Okay, let's go with first example. As example, we'll use commando build with anti-armor fixer. Therefore, let's go step by step. We have anti-armor fixer. First, what we need to figure out is how much armor we are not penetrating. That's because that's the easiest way to calculate. Therefore, enemies armor at start is 100% mean full armor. Then we have our anti-armor fixer. Then we'll reduce this armor by 50%. And I know you can easily calculate it in your memory and that's good because here we have 50% of enemy armor left. And this number, in order to be able to put into your calculator in the second, into simple calculator, we need to transform into this form, 0 0.50. That's the value we want. Therefore, we have this anti-armor fixer. Next, again, we are starting from 100%, as we need to do it all separate for every source of armor penetration. And now we are using our magazine. Let's say we have perforating magazine. Fortunately, value in game is not stated, but it's 40%. It's 40% armor penetration. Therefore, enemies will be left with 60% of its armor after using just the magazine. We translate it into form that our calculator will accept 0 0.60. Next, the last one that we have on our commando build will be tank killer perk that increase our armor penetration by 35%. We put it in here, 
Therefore, enemy is left with 65% of its armor. And we have our final number, 0.65. Now, how to do it with a calculator? You basically, basically go this way, now with our calculation, and we multiply those values. It's very simple. I should have here Windows calculator. I will show you how to do it. We are using Windows calculator, therefore we start inputting those values. First, that 50, we multiply it, dot 60, we multiply it, dot 65, we get our final number, 0 dot 195. Now, that's the remaining armor. What we are interested in is armor penetration. How to change it to armor penetration? Basically, back to the calculator, just put minus one. That's the simplest shortcut. And you have minus 0 0.805. We'll ignore the minus and we put 0 0.805. Our transformation will be 0 0.805. Five, that's the number. Yes. Therefore, our armor penetration, if we want to write it down as a percentage, you just need to move this dot two spaces to the right. It will be here. Therefore, 80.5%. That is our total armor penetration with all those perks. As you can see, we do not add them up. This is our anti-armor, perforating receiver and tank killer. Total of 80.5% armor penetration. That's how you calculate it. And that is very important to know if you want to figure out what is your total armor penetration. But now, is it too much or not enough? To figure this out, we'll be using tool for actually followed for. It's a Desmos damage calculator. I will drop a link in the description of this video if you want to use it. It's desmos.com. That's the damage calculator. But very important, it's not updated for Fallout 76. A lot of calculations is different, but there is one we can use. Therefore, what you need to do Make sure that energy equation is unchecked because it's not up to date. Plasma damage is unchecked because it's not up to date. And you, most of the tools you don't want to use. The one tool that you will be using is ballistic damage equation, as this is basically still up to date. You can do three. If you check all three, you can just compare different values. But for our purpose, we are only at this moment interested in this one value. Then we leave this one on. Then base damage. And here we will be cheating a little bit. Okay, what we will input in here is your base damage that you are doing per shot. And how you can figure it out, if you have in-game damage numbers enabled, you just shoot once a low-level enemy in the forest, like a rad roach or something like that, with your build, in the torso, don't do a headshot, in a torso. And whatever damage will come up, you use this damage for the calculation. Let's say for this example, we'll shoot a radioge and we'll get like 200 damage from this shot. Then we input here 200. Now, the last thing that interests us is our, we can close that already, we have this 200, is our armor piercing. And here we input result of our calculation with paint calculation, this one, 80 and half percent. This is, this is our value and we go for it. We move this slider until we get 80.5, 80.5. Unfortunately, there is no 0.5. Then we go for 80, 80% 80 armor piercing in total. And now the result, you can, you can see this line going straight, then falling down. What this means for you, 
basically here on the bottom is value for enemy armor enemy armor until this point therefore until armor reaches 155 something like that you have full armor penetration for any practical reason you have 100% armor penetration from zero armor to 155 armor which will cover most of the enemies in game the toughest enemies i think it's Earl around 400 armor therefore you can see this curve and you see now that for enemies with less than 155 armor you have enough or more than enough armor penetration for other enemies increasing armor penetration will add damage for you if you are using let's say single shot powerful weapon this will change everything let's go again and change the damage to give you better example let's say you are actually using sniper with the same setup but sniper not automatic commando fixer sniper will have much more damage maybe you'll be doing like 500 damage per shot testing on rad roach torso shot no that's critical just regular torso shot it can be in vats but regular one let's change the damage and let's say you have 500 and now it's going higher then we need to zoom out to see the damage and now you can see that you have enough damage basically for the toughest enemies to penetrate 100 percent of their armor in practice you can see it in here. Now, if you want to figure out what will happen if you like decide to go with less armor penetration, you can always change it. Like, let's say you are interested to see if it's enough to have just tank killer. Then you can change this value to just tank killer without anti-armor or weapon, without perforating magazine. Therefore, you drop it to 35 and you see that in this scenario, you will penetrate armor with enemies up to 118 armor value, which is a lot of regular enemies, not all of them. Super mutants can go up to around 200 and bosses 300 or 400, the end game bosses. And this I think will be helpful for you if you want to figure out yourself how much damage you are doing and how much armor penetration you need to achieve the best results. Don't forget how to calculate it. Like this is my MS Paint presentation for you to figure out exactly how much armor penetration you have. If you are melee built, you can achieve much higher values as there are better perks. If you are commando built, that's something like that. If you are a heavy gunner, of course less as there will be no perforating magazine like we use in here. But you can use this method for whatever you need to calculate. And then you can use Desmos calculator to see the curve of the damage. In case you have energy damage weapon, use the same calculation, use the one for ballistic damage because it was fixed. Actually in Fallout 76, you are using the same formula for energy and ballistic damage calculations. The only tricky part will be if you have weapon combining both, as you're supposed to calculate separately for both, then that's a little bit more tricky part. And I will not go over it in here as there is no simple explanation how to do it. If you have combined damage, unfortunately you will need to estimate how much you need. And I think that will be everything for this particular video. If you have a simpler way to calculate it, let me know, that's the simplest way I could figure out about calculation of damage and anti-armor effects. How much should you stack and how much is too much? Basically, it's too much. If this flat line goes above 400 and keeps going, that's usually too much. It's rare. It's rare, you should know. It's only usually possible with melee weapons with very high damage per hit, usually purely ballistic or purely energy weapons. Therefore, it's rare that you will go too high, but it is possible. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.